everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video you know guys i was sitting here lately looking at the new claudine doll kind of brainstorming looking for some new ideas thinking what i could make out of this doll and i came up with an idea that seemed very funny and attractive to me and this is exactly what we will make today and i'm talking about making a little red riding hood girl who is a werewolf at the same time I think it will be amazing. I'm not sure exactly how this mix of characters uh, has happened. Maybe she's a daughter of the original wolf and the original Little Red Riding Hood. Or maybe this werewolf was actually a wolf who killed uh, the original Little Red and her grandma and has stolen their outfit and look and things like this. I'm not sure exactly so how this mix happened, but I think it will be a very interesting project to work on. I already made a traditional, normal uh, Little Red Riding Hood doll years ago. So, and today I want to make her more kind of dangerous, more seductive, more yeah dangerous is the main word probably because you know if you look at her you might think she is just a little girl uh, in her riding hood uh, going to her grandmother but when you look closer you see that you have here a real wolf a werewolf a predator so I think it will be a very fun project to work on let's see where we will end up uh, of course in the beginning guys like always I have to remind you to subscribe to my channel please hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy things that I'm making here and this being said let's start the transformation so this is the doll that I will customize today she's exactly the same like the first Claudine that I repainted some time ago on my channel last year probably or two years ago she's very cute very sweet I really love this doll but I will change her vibe today I will make her much more dangerous much more I don't know sophisticated hopefully so let's undress her let's do all the necessary things that have to be done to end up with a clean cut canvas, I mean cut off her hair, wipe her face off with acetone and then we'll start working on her new look. everything is gone now I seal her face with mr. super clear sealant and then I will start drawing 
So I want to give her very sultry, very seductive makeup, like smoky eyes. Uh, she will have brown eyes with strong yellow accents, so it will be quite similar to her original face, but more sophisticated. Well, I hope it will be more sophisticated and more kind of seductive, sultry and dangerous looking in the end. Okay, this is the face, I think I'm done here and now I would normally blush her body to match the color of her face, but you know I will do it a little bit later because I still need the body to make her outfit and shoes and some accessories and I don't want to scratch or I don't know somehow damage the blushed body. So I will first make the outfit and then I'll quickly blush the body, it's not the most time consuming process. So let's work on her outfit and first of all i want to give her black leather like leggings i think it will look kind of more hot and dangerous on a little red character than a traditional skirt so i'm making a pair of leggings for her using my favorite sewing method it's really easy to make doll leggings like this
is what I've ended up making. Check it out. Really very nice fitting pants. Uh, so now I want to make a corset for my girl. You can see I've already protected her body with kitchen plastic and tape. And I will wrap a warm and soft piece of thermoplastic around of her torso to make it look like a corset. Yes, this is what I've got so far. Very nice. So now let's paint it with red acrylics and then I will glue a piece of black lace on top of this red surface. Yes, it looks already very, very, very nice. So now let's add some tiny golden half moons and chains to make it all more kind, I don't know, werewolf themed. And it all looks so nice, <laughs> really very cute, I absolutely love her corset. So now let's make a red cloak with a hood out of red satin.
finished cloak looks very cute. You see I made it double-sided, so I think it looks very good, very classy. Really happy with this part of this project. So we're almost done with the outfit. Now I just need to make a pair of shoes for her. And for this I will of course use my Warbler Thermoplastic again. The shoes will be black with red soles and heels and the front of the shoes will be decorated with the same half moons and I will also add golden chains to go around her ankles. So here are the finished shoes, they will go perfectly with her look, I'm really happy with the shoes. And now I can finally blush her body and after that I will finally put the outfit on. And I really cannot wait to see how it all will go together. Here it is, the finished outfit, and I think it looks really, really good. I'm very happy about it. So now I just need to make her hair, and I will use black acrylic yarn for it. So first I will make it loose, I will straighten it with the hair straightener to make it look like real hair, and then I will attach it to the doll's hat using tacky glue.
this is how it looks the next day when everything is dry. Now I want to make two braids. I think kind of this contrast of a very innocent girlish haircut and her more, I don't know, kind of sinister face will look interesting together. That's the plan. So this is the finished hair, this is what I've ended up making, very cute. Now I want to add golden rings to her ears and to her forehead I will add a tiny golden moon to complete the werewolf look. And then after attaching eyelashes and adding gloss to her eyes and lips, we will take a look at the end result pictures. she is guys very dark very seductive beautiful I really love how this red capes looks together with her face with her hair with her darker skin tone this red accent really fits her in my opinion and I really think she's one of my favorite dolls lately I don't know I just love her face her look her vibe in general so I'm very happy I went for this idea for this project because my first custom Claudine doll was very colorful kind of inspired by the colorful werewolf girl from the new Wednesday show gosh I already forgot her name but you know who I'm talking about and this one is completely different dark but very 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 beautiful so guys I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions about this project let's discuss it in the comments down below and if you want to buy this doll you can find her on eBay for three days the link is in the description box under this video so and that was my doll transformation of the week I really hope you've enjoyed it today guys and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes of course subscribe to my channel hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you in a week next week Friday in a new makeover have a nice weekend love you guys bye